Okay, this brings us to boundary conditions. When we set up a standing wave on the string, for a physical string, we have to have a fixed end at this point and at this point. So our two ends are fixed, which means that they're not free to move up and down. So that necessitates that they are nodes. So what are the possibilities for getting a fixed string to oscillate? Well, we can have nodes at the two ends with no nodes in between, just one anti-node, in which case the length of our string is half a wavelength because there was half a wavelength, remember, between each of our nodes. Now, this is referred to as the fundamental or the first harmonic. Now, it would also be possible to set the string oscillating in a manner such as this, where we've got a node in the middle of the string which case we've got two half wavelengths here, so the length of the string in this case is equal to the wavelength. This pattern is referred to as the second harmonic. Now it would also be possible to set it up with four nodes spaced along the string, and an extra node here and an extra node here, in which case the length of the string is three lambda on two. Each of these is lambda on two, and there's three of them. This is called the third harmonic because it's got the three loops. Okay, so we have the equation for our wavelength for the nth harmonic is equal to 2L on N. This just comes about because we said that we had to have an integer number of half wavelengths was equal to our string length. So that tells us that lambda subscript N is equal to 2L on N, which was that equation. Now we can also calculate the frequency for this harmonic. The frequency is equal to the velocity over the wavelength. That's just from v is equal to f lambda. Our wavelength here, let's give this a subscript n, so this has a subscript n. Our wavelength is given up here, so this is the velocity over 2L times n. And then we know that the velocity of a wave along a string is equal to the tension over the mass per unit length n over 2L. So that is our equation for the fundamental frequencies of a string. Now the important point to note is that these are just integer multiples of the first fundamental frequency. The fundamental frequency is when n is equal to 1. It's equal to 1 over 2L root t on mu. And so all the frequencies f of n can be written as n times this fundamental frequency here. Okay, so that's just noted here. Fundamental frequency is when n equals 1. The frequencies of the other allowed modes are integer multiples of the fundamental frequency. Okay, so now there's a multiple choice question for you to do. Just enter your answer below. When the standing wave is set up on a string fixed at both ends, which of the following statements is true? A. The number of nodes is equal to the number of antinodes. B. The wavelength is equal to the length of the string divided by an integer. C. The frequency is equal to the number of nodes times the fundamental frequency. D. The shape of the string at any point in time shows a symmetry about the midpoint of the string.